everybody. Welcome back to Homestead Heart. And today I am doing a quick video. Hopefully under five minutes. I can't get, I can't promise you nothing. Okay. But hopefully it'll be quick. <laughs> I know I'm a little long winded. But anyway, one of our subscribers, actually several of you, but one of you have asked multiple times. <laughs> I got all 10 of your emails. <laughs> so listen, what do I do after I can? What do I do? The jars are canned. I pulled them out of the canner and that's the end of the video. But Mrs. H, what do you do then? I'm new to this, so I don't know. <laughs> Let me show you. Okay, you all. So now the jars are out of the canner. They have had an opportunity to sit overnight, which is what I do. I leave them here on this pad to sit overnight, to cool, to seal, all right? And then after that, I will come back the following day, and this is my process, okay? okay. Number one, I go through and I check to make sure all of my jars have sealed. I'm looking to make sure that that indentation on the top is down. And if I see that they're all down, I know that I'm good to go. But I'll even take it a step further and I'll go through and I'll just touch all the tops of my jars just to make sure that they are all down. If that indentation or that little bubble is not down, I'll know because I will feel it. I will be the one to mash it. If I run across a jar like that, that jar will go in the refrigerator and I will use that immediately in a meal. Now, if you're canning jams or whatnot, you have the option to reprocess that, okay? I wouldn't reprocess meats and things like that because that could literally just be mush. <laughs> but jams uh, and jellies or things of that nature, if it doesn't seal, I just pop it in the fridge, okay? I don't go through the process of trying to reprocess a jar. Okay, all right. Number two, what I do the next is I come back, I take off all the bands. We do not leave bands on our jars, okay? Don't, okay? The only way that I would advise if you're gonna leave bands on your jars is that make sure that the band is not, you know, sometimes you don't have space and you have to stack things, right? So what I would do is I would just literally sit that band on top. You know, I wouldn't tighten it. I would just sit it on top. And that way, whatever you sit on top of it, if you have to sit another box or something, it won't mash down, okay? On that lid too much, all right? But that would be the only way. What I would advise is, putting your jars like this, maybe in a tote and the little stackable totes, or they even have, but those are expensive, those uh, um, plastic containers that are made to hold your cannon jars, they are costly. So even if you just took a tote and you wanted to put them in a tote and then maybe put something in between each jar to keep it from bumping up against each other, you could do that. But if at all possible, remove your lid. So I remove all of my lids. Number three. After I've removed all of my lids, this is where my towel comes in. I take my towel and I wipe down each and every jar, okay? And it's gonna be wet, but I wipe down each and every jar my towel is not dripping with water, but it does have soap in it, okay? So I'm gonna get all of these wiped down. Now, if you were canning things or foods with fats in them, like meat, butter, fish, if you are canning something like that, instead of just using warm soapy water, 
I add a little bit of vinegar to that water. The reason I do that is because the vinegar will help eliminate that fat off the jars because sometimes when you're canning, the jars will siphon a little bit, meaning while it's pushing air out of the jar, the liquid gonna come out a little too. And if that happens, it's gonna drip down the side of your jar. Your jar gonna be all greasy. You don't wanna just put that on your shelf like that. Not only does it just stink eventually, but you don't wanna attract any type of bugs to wherever you are putting your foods, okay? So you make sure you give these a good cleaning, a good wipe down, all right? Number four, now that these have been washed, I will give them just a moment to dry, or you can grab a dry towel and you can go through and you can dry them all off if you want. But typically, by the time I finish washing all of my jars down, the first jars are already dry anyway, okay? So what I'm gonna do next, this right here is my regular persimmon jam, okay? Now, what I do next is a very important step. I am going to label and date what's in this jar, okay? So, if you have your cute little labels, like I do, you can use these. So I'm just gonna put on here one of the little labels, I've already done it. I just wrote persimmon, can y'all see? There you go. Persimmon jam. And I put the date on it. Okay. And I'm just going to take this cute little label and I'm going to put it on my jar. Just like so. Make sure that jar is dry because these labels don't do well when they are wet. Okay. So make sure the jar is dry. That's that. Okay. Now, another option is you can do it this way. On that lid, you can write persimmon jam. I need my glasses. I can't even see it. Okay. Now, persimmon jam, 1229.20. Okay. So, those are the two ways that you can label your products. The fit. Final step is to simply take your product and put it in your cabinet or put it in your pantry or put it in those totes or wherever you keep your products, your food that you have canned. Take this jar and put it on the shelf. So if I was putting it in the cabinet, I just put it in the cabinet, right? All right. And that is all I do after I have canned what I am canning for the day, okay? So I hope that helps. I hope it answered your questions. I hope I didn't leave anything out. Well, what do I do with the bands? <laughs> okay, number six. What do I do with the bands? My bands, I have a five gallon bucket and I have one for wide mouth, and one for regular mouth. And one for regular mouth bands, okay? So I will simply take my bands, drop them in that bucket, and that's where they will stay until I need them. If your bands are rusty in any kind of way, and it doesn't just clean off, you need to throw those in the trash, okay? All right, y'all, I certainly hope that is a help to you on what I do after I can all of my food, okay? If that helps you, give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to share the videos as well because that really helps our channel. Don't forget to share in your social media circles our playlist for canning, where there's water bath canning, pressure canning, or just click on the food preservation playlist 
all of it is in there. Share our food preservation playlist, okay? All right, y'all, don't forget, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss a single video that we upload to our channel. Thank y'all so much for watching me here this evening, Homestead Heart. Peace and blessings to each and every one of you. I'm going to see y'all in the next video. <music>